Morning, everybody. Morning. Morning, pals. Just out for a morning walk this morning with Bella and her friend. We've named him Hamish. He looks like a little Hamish. <laughs> Absolutely no idea what he's called, but he said he looks like Hamish. His neighbour's dog sometimes follows us along, so. Having a walk before we head north, heading up to visit a few little towns today and one that I'm quite excited about which is a star fort and uh, we see these scattered around the world, there's not really much documentation on them for some reason. You see a lot of history channels documenting traditional star castles but nothing much about these star forts. There is information out there saying that the walls of said structures are bastion walls for cannons but a lot of these forts are dated back to well before the 12th and 13th century so that theory is pretty much debunked a little bit of research into myself and the shapes of these forts look closely linked to semantics semantic shapes and I think they have maybe something to do links to energy centers and if you look at monolithic history a lot of the structures that come from said civilizations, cathedrals and the likes. I think that that holds more credence to the information that we are fed currently. So be interesting to go there, see what it's all about. Where else are we heading to first? Um... Rodrigo, <laughs> Castello Rodrigo. Oh yes. A quaint little castle town which has the city walls and some pretty nice views as we have seen via photos online. Go to a viewpoint where you can see Castel Rodrigo in the distance and there's a Jesus statue that overlooks the city which would be pretty cool. That would be nice. Um, and I think that's it. So let's see what it has to offer and thanks for dropping in enjoy the video yeah get them when the ass get them go on son get them <gasps> he's not sure is he <laughs> get them go on get them oh look he's got a voice now <laughs> Go on Hamish lad, yeah. you tell them! Go on Hamish lad! <laughs> yeah, you're a good lad aren't you? Yeah. Seeing his eyes. Little tricolour. Tricolour. Different colours. Yeah, you're a bonny lad aren't you? How are you? Let's go! Come on. Yeah. Bella always gets a good run out when Hamish comes along. She loves other dogs. Definitely be getting another one. Little brother or sister. Nice for her. Find them. Find them. Yay! <laughs> so the city of Pinnell. The castle up on the hill there. Started to build houses inside the city walls, but it's a nice little walk around the city walls. A few nice churches in a square. Lovely surrounding mountains and countryside. Watch what you're doing, you. En route to Castello Rodrigo. Come to see this statue of the Lord overlooking the valley and the village. Not sure what this village is here, but we'll find out. 
and put it here. Stunning views. Watch me beside these monstrosities of structures. But there's a little church over here. And on the way down the mountain must be a pilgrimage. And there's some nice little temples showing the crucifixion, a bit like in Fatima. So go and have a look at it. Altitude 977. The statue of Cristo Rey de Serra de Morafa is the oldest and the highest in the country at almost a thousand metres of altitude. Conceived by Jose Canedo Martins, parish priest of Figueira de Castelo Rodrigo, sculpted by stonemasons from Bermacin under the coordination of Joaquin Barreo, sculptor from Alfena in white granite. Six metres high, it was placed here in July 1956 with open arms as if the blessing municipality of Figueira de Castelo Rodrigo. That is where we've just been. Castello Rodrigo, stunning little town within the castle walls. And that is Castello Rodrigo. Star Fort. <laughs> this is, how do you pronounce it? Almeida. This is Almeida. And that is the shape of it from above. Starfort. External walls of Almeida. And the entrance gate. Any view. God. Go on. Go on. Guillotine. Come for the armbar. Go on for the triangle that from the floor. Thank you. 
Yeah, I seen it. Hamish, what are you doing here? What do you want? The playtime's over. <laughs> you little beauty.